improvised explosive devices have been used in almost every terrorist attack that has taken place in the last 40 years. The threat is real. We are vulnerable. But awareness, planning, and preparedness can make a real difference in keeping our public spaces safe and secure. We all know bombs often don't look like bombs. They come in all shapes and sizes. From a five pound bomb left in a bag to a 1,000 pound bomb left in a truck. They are often small and easily transportable with catastrophic effects. Most bomb making materials are completely benign on their own. But in large quantities, altered or paired, they can be deadly. Hello, security. I think you need to come up to room 410 right away. Bombs often include everyday household items that you can buy at places like beauty supply or pool supply stores gas stations, and home and garden centers. Hello, how are you guys doing? Obviously, it's imperative that employees are aware of the explosive nature of the goods they sell. But it's even more critical that they know who to talk to if they feel like something is suspicious. That's a nice color. Why don't you guys look at this? I'll be right back, okay? Okay, we'll look at it. Actually, yeah, maybe I think it's pretty. Hey, Phil, yeah. um, I know what you said about fertilizers, and there was this guy who literally bought everything. And let me tell you, he was no farmer. So I just thought you should know. Uh, yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Reporting suspicious behavior is the number one thing that we can do to stop a terrorist attack. And you play a key role in keeping us safe and protecting the American way of life. Don't ignore your instincts or rely on others to take action. Be prepared, be aware, be safe. If you see something, say something. If you see someone who looks suspicious or if you find yourself in a potentially dangerous situation, don't try and be a hero. Get as far away from the threat as possible. Try to place a solid physical object between you and the threat. Try to prevent others from entering the general area and call 911. There was this really sketchy guy who just walked into the student center. I, he looked like he was wearing something under his jacket. I don't know, it just it really freaked me out. Terrorists and criminals who wish to cause massive damage may also use trucks, vans, or cars to conduct surveillance or detonate an explosion. But we know that aware citizens, staff, and employees are the first line of defense in preventing these yeah. type of attacks. Yeah, it, it didn't feel real. Report vehicles that are left for long periods of time, parked in prohibited areas near entrances or exits. Missing identification, or that are left intentionally. Some indicators alone are not necessarily suspicious. But if multiple indicators are present, like electronic components, unusual containers, or if unknown liquids, smells, or smoke are coming from a package or vehicle, extreme caution should be exercised. If you see a suspicious package or vehicle that might contain an IED, do not touch it or attempt to move it. Report it and clear the area. Without causing panic, calmly alert others that you have found a suspicious item. Move all patrons and personnel at least 500 feet away from the suspected IED. 
Step away from the potential threat when using two-way radios or cell phones. They can trigger explosions. Communicate clearly with your security team, management, and local authorities. Try to confirm the device by attempting to locate the owner of the package or vehicle. Often, suspected threats are misunderstandings. But it's always better to be safe than sorry. Always check the area and facility for secondary devices. If you find anything, remember, do not touch it. Report it. The local bomb squad, police, and emergency responders are here to help. They will arrive with all the necessary tools, equipment, and personnel to secure the facility. The specialists will handle the IED. But the first line of defense is you. Establish and rehearse plans, procedures, evacuation protocols, as well as potential locations that could be used as staging or assembly sites for both evacuation and first responders. Preparing and planning for the worst will help us be more safe and secure for the future. Be prepared, be aware, be safe. If you see something, say something. Make the call.